we end up dropping them off and uh, I think I, we went back to the house. Diamond and Tiani was there. They were sleeping on the bed. What happened the rest of that evening? I just have to think back a little. Okay, okay. take your time. We end up dropping them off and uh, I think I, we went back to the house or we either went somewhere. We went some, or either to the house or somewhere we went. And that was it. I got on the couch and laid down to sleep. The next day, I told Tiandi, I'm going to work. After that, we go camping. Don't open the door for nobody. George took me to work. He dropped me off. So you get to work at like about 7 in the morning? Yes. Yeah, because I have to uh, open up, yes. Okay. So you two adults are the only two people mm -hmm. that had knowledge that Tianda and Diamond was in that apartment mm -hmm. alone. Right. When you left for yes. work that morning. Yes, they was there. No one else knew? No. Tracy was working the, the lunch, what they used to call the lunch program. Yes. After work, she was going on a camping trip. Okay. And you started checking in on the girls yes. by calling. Yes. After that that morning, I had like a little lunch break. So I called and I called and I called. It wasn't no answer, it just kept going to voicemail, voicemail, voicemail. Then I called my mom, my mom, and um, she kept calling, she kept calling uh, the house too. Okay, at some point, George Washington returns. Yes, pick me up. George picked me up from work and I'm um, coming home and the back door was open. And we walked up the stairs and everything. And I put my key in the door and I called for uh, Diamond Tiandi. So I was nervous and, you know, like, where are they, you know? When Tracy entered her apartment from work on the morning of the 6th, around noonish, there was a note that was discovered in the house. There was a note on the back of the couch said that they were going to the school and they was going up to the store. I find it odd. And when we went up the stairs, my mom opened the door. She, my mom just knocked the TV over and got the crayon and got the call in the family. My sister Marie told Tracy, do not call the police. Let's just look for the kids, because if you call the police, they're going to take Vicky and Rita. I was scared. I wanted to find them, you know, like on my own to see if I could find them, you know, you know, and see what who house they went to, you know, and just look around. So we went by the lake and all over there and everything, you know, searching and asking, you know, have you seen two little girls, you know? They're like, no, no. And in your mind, you're thinking, you know, I left them alone. I could get in trouble for this. Yes. 